today we're going to talk about the two towers that are going up as part of 11 hotel and residences that is 11 nightclub the world famous nightclub here in miami it's actually featured in gta 6 if you remember the banner flying across in the trailer they're building dual towers that are going to be 65 stories high and connected with a sky bridge that sky bridge is the reason why club space it's temporarily closed through the fall. We're gonna talk a little bit about details, why they are not open right now, and a little bit about this tower and this one that recently broke ground. So this is a site of tower number two. As you can see, it is just barely out of the ground. This will be 11 residences beyond. This is gonna be an exclusive tower for the owners. Residents here will enjoy amenities of their own tower, as well as a connection through the sky bridge to tower number one to enjoy those amenities. However, people living in tower number one will not be able to enjoy amenities in tower number two. So like I said, it is an exclusive tower. So 11 residences beyond is according to the sales gallery representative, 99% sold out. They have 550 units and there's actually a private members club on the 65th floor. Another amenity that I think is huge and it's something that I kind of expected because of the branding uh, but owners at this building will be able to go into 11 nightclub, which is just across the street and take priority entrance, get that VIP status, VIP treatment, just by owning a condo here in this tower. All right, so this is tower number one. This is 11 hotel and residences, 65 stories, similar to the other tower that's gonna go up on the other side of club space. But you can see it is absolutely massive so far. I believe they're on the 42nd, 43rd floor and it's gonna go all the way up to 65 floors. That's about 700 feet tall. I just had a construction worker at this site recognize me from the channel, says he's a subscriber. So if you're watching this, thank you for the, the kind words. So 11 hotel and residences, also known as tower number one, will rise 65 stories, have no parking. Its main focus will be to present it as a Vegas style kind of resort. We are on the tower number one towards the backside of the building. You can see where the day club will be. There's gonna be a pool right in that big cutout in the middle. We've got a flat area on the facade back there where you can see all of the concrete just before it starts curving up. That's where a six story tall LED screen will be put in place. I'm talking, this is going to be crazy. I did the VR experience inside the sales gallery and it put me in there in the daytime and the nighttime and at night it is just going to absolutely pop. You got strobe lights that are gonna be put on the side of this building pointing all around the pool area. Cabanas will be there. There's going to be several signature restaurants, bars. And what's interesting is on the edge of it, right over here towards the left, I'll crop in a little bit so you know what I'm talking about. There's going to be a sculpture by world-renowned sculptor, Daniel Popper. You've seen his work, I'm sure. It's scattered around the world, but that sculpture will have an opening in the head area where you'll be able to put a DJ there. That's the DJ booth. It's going to be absolutely crazy. If we go this way, we can see the backside of club space. This is where they have to make those modifications in order to stay up to code because right there behind the building is where that sky bridge will go. They're going to build the podiums, uh, but ultimately that's where the sky bridge will go, connecting the two towers. You can already see the opening in tower one right there, which they'll be able to uh, set up that bridge right there and connect it to this tower when that one is completed. So yeah, there used to be a fire exit here with some stairs going down. That is no longer the case. They've since removed it. They have to, like I said, make modifications before they can reopen club space. Uh, they're targeting sometime in the fall, and I'm sure they're gonna take advantage of uh, updating a lot of their club in that time frame. All right, now is the time to head on over inside the 11 Hotel and Residences sales gallery to hear more from the project reps. So these two are the 11 towers that are gonna be coming up in 2026, 2027. This one right here is the hotel tower, and the one on the right is the residential tower. So the idea here is that the 11 Group is bringing a brand new lifestyle to Miami, which is very Vegas concept. As if you were in a five-star Vegas hotel, it's gonna have the first ever day club pool, six-story LED screen. This will be catering top DJs, top artists around the world. This both stories are 65 floors, and then we will also be hosting the first ever Deepak Chopra Spa and Studio, Ooh. first ever in Miami Sports Betting Lounge. That will be absolutely amazing, 10,000 square feet. It also has two signature restaurants. And this is, uh, is this gonna be like a parking garage, like the podium here, or is there other stuff that is gonna be? There's no parking in this No parking tower. garage, okay. So it's all amenities, and uh, amenities and 
weeks. This yeah. sculpture, which is by Daniel Popper, this is being done for us, specifically for, for the day club pool. The head of the sculpture is actually where the DJs or the artists will be presenting. How many units are going to be in here for, because it's part hotel, part It's residential. all residential units. Oh, okay. So it's 100% residences. Every unit has its private owner. The whole tower will have a hotel operator. So mm. the owners have the decision to whether put it with the hotel operator or keep it for themselves. But there's no actual just hotel rooms. The residential tower, it's very, it's a very exclusive tower very high end it does have the advantage that you can access all the amenities of the hotel so the residential tower has that priority they have the priority of taking advantage of everything that hotel offers there's also going to be a beach club there's a private members club on the 65th floor and they do have priority access to the 11 nightclub okay so i was going to ask about the the nightclub uh so by priority access what do you mean by that so there's a VIP entrance okay. in the nightclub. That will be their entry. That's it's cool. VIP entry. They don't have to pay. They don't have to wait in line for general. We are now, I want to say, 99% sold. There's a handful of units left. The hotel tower is 100% sold. So the sky bridge, mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit about that? So we are going to build a sky bridge that will connect both towers. This will be your direct access from the residence to the hotel. That's like their priority access into the hotel. Um, the hotel guests cannot come into the residence tower. All right, we're heading into the 2-2 model unit that they have here at the sales gallery. When you come inside, you already see a nice open bedroom over here. This is the first bedroom you'll see at the entrance. Nice closet area. It's like they have a sink in the unit. Nice little mirror. Walk down this way is where the station area would be. And this is like if you were to look towards the western part of Miami-Dade, you got the stadium, Lone Depot Park, where the Marlins play. I-95 running through here. And we walk into the first bathroom. It is so nice. And then you obviously have a great view of the outside as well from the bathroom. Modern toilet. They did tell me they have, oh look, they have rain shower. It's pretty cool. They did tell me that the uh, furniture you see now is just for the, the model unit, that it's not going to be like this when you buy it. They're still working that out. So here we have the kitchen area, sink, stove top, oven. So now you're walking towards the living room area and you can see a view towards the south and a view towards the east. So you've got the bay view there, the ocean all the way in the back, Miami Beach is right over there. To the south, you have more of the downtown area. So we're gonna walk on to this balcony just so you can get an idea of what the view would be if you lived here. So as you can see, you'd have uh, open views of uh, Paramount, which is about a 700 foot tall building. So if we were all the way up here, we'd be about 700 feet. You've got the Waldorf Astoria in this model to give you an idea of what 1,049 feet will look like, 100 stories, absolutely dominating the skyline. Aston Martin Residences, which is already completed, is right there. Now walking down to the next bedroom. So this is supposed to be a king size bed. She told me that this is not the correct size for the bed. So imagine something a little bigger than that. And then another view towards the, we're looking towards the northeast over here now. And then the, over there would be a little more towards the east. So now we're gonna walk towards the other bathroom. Absolutely elegant. It looks so nice, everything over here. Let me just. Pop in here, nice. Like I'm even reflecting off of the marble wall. <laughs> One thing I did notice, you can see the little top of the arches that are being built on the I-395 highway. Nice touch. So there you have it. We've got the 11 residences beyond, the exclusive tower with a host of amenities between both 65 story towers, including priority VIP entrance at 11 nightclub. That tower recently broke ground. We also have 11 hotel and residences on the other side of club space, which is in a really awkward position in my opinion. Construction is over 40 stories so far with less than 25 more to go. That tower is going for a Vegas style type of party vibe with a massive LED screen overlooking the resort style pool area. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned, Jake and Logan Paul have already secured penthouses in this development. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this project. And as always, I encourage you to watch my other development videos like the Waldorf Astoria and I-395 Signature Bridge, which is already changing the Miami skyline. With that said, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.